Let's say you heard that Kennedy, LaGuardia, and Newark airports were going to be closed due to weather on February 27th and 28th. To see your affected clients, you could sign into Amadeus Selling Platform and go to the command page, as we have displayed here now. You would type the format LPO, which is the three-character transaction code, followed by a slash, and the letter that corresponds to the search code that you want to search for. In this case, we're searching for a date range of the 27th through the 28th of February. So the letter D is our code. We would do an open parenthesis and our actual travel dates we have booked the customers on that are affected by the weather in this case. So the 27th of February through the 28th of February. Since I'm searching for PNRs that I created in my office, let me specify my agent sign as a search parameter. In other words, I'm not going to be checking for the other people in my office, just the PNRs that I created. So the code for searching for sign is the letter S. Again, we'll do an open parenthesis, and I'll specify my agent sign. So let me type my agent sign and close parenthesis. And of course, we'll enter. Notice that our response is to check the request status with LPS slash PS. It's actually giving us the transaction to check the table. So we'll type in LPS slash PS. This display is known as the passenger list status table, and it gives us such information as the entry that we actually made, as well as the date that we did it. In this case, I did it on the 15th of February. It indicates that the transaction is complete, so the system has searched and found three PNRs that meet our parameters. To display the search results for the specific search that we just did, which is on line number one, we would enter LPS slash D1. This entry actually provides us with a list of the passengers' names and their record locators. In this example, you'll notice that three PNRs matched our request. We can display a specific PNR from this passenger list by entering LPS, the specific PNR number that we want to display. Let's say we want to display Mr. Jones and he's on line 1, so we would do LPS 1. We can then go through each PNR in this manner and reaccommodate our customers as needed. You can return to the list by doing LPS 0 and enter. If you have a printer, you can also print the passenger list to the default printer by doing LPS slash D1 since it was in search slot number one dash and then P for print. I'm not hooked up to a printer so I'm not going to do that entry. You can also send your results to a specific queue and category in your agency by typing LPS slash D1 again which it was in slot number one dash Q and the Q number in this case we'll use Q1, C for category, and the category that we want to send the results to. Notice that the PNRs have been queued to Q1 category 4, so you can then work them off your queue. For more information about PNR search, access the help screens in HE Search or HE LPO. You can also find information in Amadeus E University by going through Connect and clicking on the Amadeus University tab, then going to Learn, Browse Reference, and following the Browse Path, Passenger Name Record, and finally on PNR Search. Notice that there are a variety of e-topics displayed for this topic, as well as a video library video on searching for PNRs that you can take a look at, which is called Searching for PNRs.